Um, I just want to quickly say, uh, today is the 4th of um, December. I want to quickly say that those on this channel understand, I believe, that we, that the covenant has already been made. Okay, the, 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 most of the, in my understanding, most of the Christian population will not accept this, that the covenant has already been made. They won't accept it. I mean, this is, this is such a serious, um, you know, this is, this is not um, entertainment. I'm not here to entertain anybody. I am not here to um, provide entertainment of any kind. Amen. I am here to do the will of my Father and my Lord Jesus Christ. And there are times when I don't understand, you know, as can be seen, by the fact that we are still here and the 28th of September came and went. Okay, so there's things I don't understand. But what I do understand is the fact that the Father showed the date that the covenant was made. And Humble Seeker has proven through Scripture that it is uh, you know, the seven sevens, the 49 years, prophetic years from June 7th, 1967, lands when God gave Israel back Jerusalem, it lands on the 23rd of September, 2015. Okay, so the Father showed that. He is... Um, he being our father, he has given wisdom and he has given knowledge and understanding <clears throat> And while there are things that we lack wisdom in, it still does not take away and it does not change the fact that we are seeing a global virus and we are seeing a global vaccine. So the covenant that was made 17 Global Goals for Sustainable Development, signed by 193 countries on the 25th of September 2015. You know, they signed it. Um, I'm not sure why people won't accept that that is the covenant that was made with many nations beginning the one week of Daniel. I'm not sure why people just reject that without even opening their minds to see. So here we are, five years plus months plus days later, and we have a global virus and a global vaccine which is going to be pushed so the beast system that begun in 2015 is in our faces it's right in our faces I mean, I'm just going to talk. The father showed the dream of the 
outpouring of grace. And then I peered over the wall and I saw the dead bodies and I smelled the overwhelming smell of death. On the 6th of December, 2019, before the virus even began, he showed that. And we know that the virus began in Wuhan, China. So, you know, you look around the world and you see a global virus. And I sit in my little tiny, you know, corner of the world. And I say to the father, why won't they believe father? Because they, they don't understand. Because of the seven year teaching, they reject the truth of the word of God. That the book of life needs to be opened in order for us to receive our eternal life. It has to be opened, meaning that we are here while the seals are opened. Jesus opens the seals. We can see in scripture that it is the sixth seal where God's wrath or the wrath of the lamb begins. The sixth seal has to be open, and that is God's wrath. We are not appointed to God's wrath. We're not appointed to it. So he's going to take us out of the midst, the way, which is once again the word of God, Greek 3319, midst. That's when the restrainer gets taken out of the way, in the midst. Not, not at the beginning of seven years. Not at the 3.5 year mark. But sometime in the midst. And we can see that the fig tree is cut down after four years. Once again, you know, Jesus says, learn the parable of the fig trees. You know, learn it to understand when I'm coming for my bride, learn the parable of the fig tree. So you can choose, and when I say you, I don't mean the beloved brethren who are in one accord. I'm just really speaking. That one can choose to ignore that scripture and say that there is a rapture and then seven years of tribulation. You know, that's not the word of God. And you, it's the truth that we have to stand on. And if you can't stand on the truth, then you're standing on shaky ground. Your ground is shaky. So I am presuming that there are a mass of Christians out there who are terrified because the vaccine is being pushed. I've read comments where people are going to refuse the vaccine and they're going to lose their jobs. I've read comments where people are saying, no, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Did Jesus Christ fight? No. Did Jesus pick up a weapon? No. That is not the way that the Spirit works. We don't fight. We trust our Father. We trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. We rest in Him. And we do not fight. Amen. It's, it's ridiculous to even begin to think that anybody would do that. Ridiculous. 
Amen. The vaccine is a part of the beast system. It is not the mark of the beast. Do you know, and I don't know whether anybody's thought of this, I'm sure they have, but do you realize that Jesus Christ is bloodless? He shed his blood for the remission of sins for the world. He outpoured his blood once and once only, Hebrews 9. He is bloodless. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. Glorified. We are bloodless. No blood. No flesh. No blood can inherit the kingdom of God because Jesus Christ has outpoured his blood once and for all. So he is bloodless. We do not get glorified bodies with glorified DNA. We become celestial beings. Celestial. No DNA. Celestial beings. So anything that can be done to the body or to the blood, right, has no effect on the spirit of Christ in us. It is an incorruptible seed and it is spirit, not flesh, not blood. So the mark of the beast has got nothing to do with flesh or blood and it has everything to do with who you decide to worship. Either you are born of the incorruptible spirit of Jesus Christ or you are born of the spirit of wickedness that is Satan himself. So these people that are pushing and frightening people, Christians, that the vaccine is the mark of the beast or a pre precursor to the mark of the beast, they are in error and they are misunderstanding. The v vaccine has all the hand print of Satan on it because it is the beast system that is why you're seeing the 66 whatever it is and all the other things that's got the handprint of Satan on it linked to the, va the vaccine because it is the beast system because the beast is here all we are waiting for is the rapture and then the wicked is revealed and the Antichrist and Satan is cast down with his angels. I mean, come on, this is going to be the worst time this world has ever known and it's not an enemy this world has ever, ever seen. This is a supernatural army. Supernatural. Supernatural army. They will fall on their swords and they will not be wounded. Joel 2. It's a supernatural army coming upon this earth. So to understand where we are in time is to, gosh, it's just to receive the truth.
I've probably said too much. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. The vaccine is irrelevant to us. All who believe in Jesus Christ, it's irrelevant to us. What is not irrelevant to us is to understand that where we are in time, we are five years from in, into the one week of Daniel, five years At any moment, Jesus is going to shout for us. Michael, the archangel, will stand up The first trumpet of God will sound. Satan will be cast down to the earth with his angels. And it is going to be sudden destruction. Praise Jesus. When the sixth seal is opened, there's a massive earthquake. So when that earthquake hits, if you're beside an unbeliever, we will be protected. Our Father will protect us through that earthquake. But if you're beside an unbeliever, you can just say to them, Jesus Christ is coming. Either give your life to Jesus Christ or stay here and go through the worst time this world has ever known. Amen. Love you all, beloved brethren. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. We praise the name of Jesus. We worship the blood of the Lamb. We worship the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah.